So it's Q and A that the audience is asked to raise uh, their questions, and hopefully we'll get the answers from the persons present for the Q and A. So it's up to you, audience, please. Hey everyone, I hope you can hear and see me. Yeah, everything fine. Awesome. So who we'll have the first question? <laughs> I think there's a slight delay in the registration, so I think we can break the ice in some other ways. Uh, there was a leftover question uh, from uh, a previous talk from uh, uh, Guillaume. Uh, he was asking uh, uh, about uh, democracy and uh, how we are uh, taking decisions uh, inside the TDF. So maybe we can uh, start from this topic. <laughs> and the question was uh, more on uh, how to make this uh, uh, decision making uh, uh, a bit more uh, open to, to the other uh, members uh, part of the project. Uh, it's a good, good question. Uh, democracy always uh depends on how much time one can spend in 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 uh, in discussions that, that sometimes can be very hard and when you get more people involved in open discussions it it can it sometimes it is necessary but sometimes it also takes more time uh, so uh, to be honest i have no no uh, answer on that that, uh, that that you should do this or that in any situation that that's my personal experience anyways what kind of decisions is Gilliam worried about so uh, one of the things that interests me is how open we are in terms of the team's decisions that are made which is a lot of the day-to-day -day work like lots of the the decisions that PDF make are made by Team. I think that's, that's something so, sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. You're a bit uh, difficult to. Your audio is not very clear. It's impossible to understand me, even if it is. So I, I, I wouldn't worry. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay. Thanks. Um, I, I was just saying that I think there are a lot of areas where uh, decisions are made, um, and hopefully decisions are made in a in a subsidiary way. So whoever is the expert uh, asks whoever is interested. <laughs> but uh, this, this is the ideal if you know who's interested. Uh, but you know, there are lots of meetings and things that occur that we could open up more, I suspect. Yeah. Uh, from, from staff through DFC through to whatever, and encourage people to go to them. Perhaps it's it's not just all about decisions, is there, if I understand GM right, Dem democracy or mero Tricodacy is also made with uh, contributions and discussions and, and giving the opinions and so on. Let me remember or remind we have an activity a year ago for uh, bringing in another tool for, for getting um, the, um, the, uh, the community more in with, uh, with uh, a kind of, of social um, uh, social network uh, or something like this. I don't know exactly the the status of this uh, project or this something, but this could be a step for it. I mean, this this Decidum um, platform or uh, Decidum was the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there apparently is no yeah, live so yet. We should uh, actually uh, probably work a bit more on the. Yeah, I see. I think there, there was said there was. Sorry, sorry. Fox. I see raising the hand uh, of Marina, or was it a direct uh, response? Uh, yeah, it was a, a a reply, maybe a clarification on the question. I was uh, resharing. Uh, I don't think that uh, Guillaume was concerned about uh, a specific decision. I think the the, the question was a. Uh, uh, more in general on uh, how we are discussing and deciding uh, uh, things uh, that are driving a TDF in a direction or another. And uh, I think uh, he was not just going uh, on uh, 
asking details for a particular topic, but yeah, in general. So, so, so I, I think what I'd like to highlight is some what was said earlier that um, um, being transparent and being open is one side of the problem, um, and the other side is that it actually takes time to follow uh, and inform uh, oneself. So, so it's something that needs a number of people um, work together. It, it's I, I don't think it's a that that's that's one group of people can, that that can solve that. Of course, if one people of um, one part of the of the group is not willing to solve it, then um, uh, it's hard to impossible. Sorry, Marina, did you raise again your hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, always connected with uh, with this uh, uh, topic uh, of transparency. Uh, looking at the outcome of the community survey, uh, there is a general uh, demand uh, of uh, a, a better or increased uh, uh, transparency. I mean, uh, I'm not saying uh, that uh, uh, things uh, were not improving uh, uh, with, uh, with the last board. Definitely, it's, uh, I think it's good to... Uh, there was the positive feedback uh, that it's great to have the, the minutes uh, uh, available, in particular for people that are not able to attend uh, the, the board uh, call. Uh, but still, uh, there are several, uh, I have the, the notes uh, uh, in front of me, and there are still several people asking for uh, uh, a more transparent uh, uh, decision when uh, the topic is uh, the general strategy, a roadmap, uh, uh, a vision for a project, uh, and at the same time, uh, they are also asking uh, to uh, avoid uh, to, to fight in public because the, the comment is uh, shield the community from uh, politics. Uh, and this one is the, uh, is the comment. So it's good to, to go public, uh, to go uh, transparent, uh, but uh, understanding when uh, uh, it's the time uh, to just uh, clarify things, uh, not on the on the board discuss list uh, or directly in, uh, in public. I think that's uh, yeah, it's brilliant. an interesting statement. Um, <laughs> so, sorry, I saw uh, Lothar raising his hand. So okay, was... let let me step in. Don't be on the other side. Lothar, it's your turn. Okay, so this is exactly <laughs> the problem between transparency and uh, decision making and and uh, um, discussing things. Uh, I think Italo made a great talk, which um, incorporated a lot of things we we are discussing, and which is not always for for a broader audience. Um, we have also have uh, in mind that there are some market partners which are not so um, interested in having a good community. Um, but uh, certainly this, this, is, this is something where you can ever get better. And uh, certainly there must be a leadership from the board and there must be also the opportunity to be informed and to, to take part of the discussions uh, which are for, uh, going on, especially for the main uh, streets or the main um, roads or how do you say to it, uh, strategy, vision, mission, and so on. Thank you, Lothar. So it's next is uh, Michael raising his hand. Michael Mix. Thanks. Yes, I mean I think it's yes, it's it's good to have transparency. Uh, obviously. Sorry, sorry, Michael. Could you improve your audio? It's yes. I don't know. If I swallow the microphone, does that help? Sorry, I'm at a weird uh, place. Um, so I think transparency is, is the right tension there that between transparency and uh, the sausage machine of politics. And uh, the board deals with a lot of difficult issues and with passion uh, and has views from all, all across the spectrum. And I think that can be upsetting to people who don't realize that everyone is on the same team at some level and they just really disagree. And so if you don't want to see conflict, then you don't want everything to be transparent. 
or you want the a puppet pretend play government that isn't the real discussion. I think. So I think, I think there is a tension there, and, and we we tried to be more transparent and have have more public conflict. I think visible. I don't know if that's good for the project, but that, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Next is again a Marina. Her hand. Thank you. Uh, yeah, as uh, as I was saying, uh, there are uh, really positive uh, comments uh, on the improvement done on uh, on the transparency. Uh, but uh, sometimes I know that I mean we are all uh, human, and uh, it's not easy sometimes when the discussion uh, is uh, it's getting uh, with uh, a bit of tension. Uh, to just uh, calm down uh, and uh, take a breath before throwing out uh, the next email. But sometimes uh, uh, there are really uh, too many discussions going on on uh, board discuss uh, that uh, are not with a uh, with tone that uh, can help. In particular, if uh, the reader is uh, not really aware of uh, how the app works uh, and uh, which are the people involved and why maybe one person can be triggered by someone else uh, and so on. So in that case, maybe yeah, let's uh, wait the usual uh, 10 seconds before pressing a send, uh, usually can help. Thank you, Marina. Um, next will be uh, Torsten and afterwards Emiliano, please. And then Core, I see. So it's um, Torsten, Emiliano, Core. Thanks a lot. So, um, yes, um, I think the transparency doesn't mean that that you can um, that you can see the entirety of the sausage machine. Transparency transparency usually just means that you see how a decision uh, how how decisions come to pass, like w what inputs are there, uh, and then how the decision is made, and then transparently um, explaining the, the decision. That doesn't mean. That the the entirety of of the internal discussion have to, has to be in public, which my hope is that that solves the problem. That um, the decision process, what's happening, the agenda, what are we talking about, that this is public and transparent, uh, and the internal perhaps um, discussions where it's a bit more heated. I think it's it's worth having that not in public, if. You, as somebody listening and and being interested in even more transparency, um, I think there is a board election coming up, so so that would be the unique opportunity to have the full transparency. Just just join um, the board uh, and the decision making there. Um, and of course, the hope is that with, with the with the diverse board um, that we have, or that that everybody in the community has somebody who's representing you um, on the board level and some amount of trust that, that your interests are represented there. Um, and as long as it's clear what the board is talking about and deciding about, then poking your representative, um, the person you trust on the board and asking for input or clarification, I think from my perspective would be um, the, the perfect balance. Okay, thank you. Um, so next will be uh, Emiliano, as I said, and then Core, and I get uh, the information that also Björn raised his hand. So it's Emiliano, Core, and Björn, please. Thank you very much. I would like just to point out the detail, which is the transparency asking is not directly uh, opposite to the shielding of the politics, because if I read the, the better the comment that triggered the shielding of the politics out of the discourse is was referring to a developing developing environment which is part of the of our community and uh, not the whole bunch so uh, maybe we should try to understand why and where we need to be more transparent and less transparent if any so that's it thank you very much thank you emiliano so next please call yeah i, I, I thanks uh, emiliano also for what what you said because uh, indeed one of my questions was uh, 
talking about transparency? Is it about concern that you really miss some things uh, about decisions that you uh, say uh, that you really wonder what's going on here? Why? Or is it about uh, general interest being concerned in, in how the whole policy making is going? That's one thing. And the other thing is, is uh, what I uh, what I heard in, in Italo's uh, uh, talk uh, was, was some clear explanation of, let's say, the unique position of our foundation, our community, which, which brings in a, a lot of uh, different uh, 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 people with different backgrounds, with different interests. And, and at one side, that, that's of great strength, uh, but on the other side, uh, that's uh, about uh, how, how Michael and uh, Thorsten said, the, the sausage making, the, the, the process of getting compromises will then will be uh, presented as, as a decision. That, that's sometimes a tough one uh, where we need to think another 10 seconds maybe, and sometimes you get too passionate and start whatever. So it's it, all in all, it's interesting. So uh, anyone who said stand up for the board, if you have some good spirit and ideas, I think that that's valuable. Yep. Thank you, Cor. So next will be Björn. As I said, then it's uh, Lothar afterwards. I think Björn was just raising the hand for, for us, for us here. Unless, Bjorn, you want to what, what a Hamburg connection community. OK, so go on, please. OK, but it would, would be nice to hear him. Um, yeah, do we, do we not make the same thought uh, now in discussing between us? And I, 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 sorry, I thought Hamburg was going to sing a song for us, the whole Hamburg team. Or, well, well, let's have this happening at the end. But oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so some, I'm some, sorry. Some other question uh, for the board or for the MC or something like this. So I think, Lugota, you are next. Uh, if I get it right, you raised your hand, isn't it? Yes, my, my, my comment was um, not to, name, to, to, to do the same uh, as we, we are doing usually to, to discuss between us uh, so long. Perhaps there's another uh, comment or question. Perhaps another item from the, from the really good um, um, survey. I, I uh, didn't see the answer uh, up to now. Okay, thank you, Lothar. Are there any more questions, answers, comments? Marina? Next one, it's, me. it's me again. Sorry. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> I'm oh, just okay. saying that, uh, I mean, uh, we got some uh, critics uh, or some uh, uh, points uh, where we should uh, reflect a bit on, uh, but uh, we also got some. Uh, uh, really good and positive uh, uh, advices on uh, where uh, the community would like to see activities done. Uh, there are even uh, some uh, good uh, um, ideas uh, uh, that uh, are just uh, planned or uh, in general that uh, are ongoing uh, um, actually. So it's also good to get uh, uh, the confirmation that uh, on some topics, uh, at least on some topics, uh, the community seems to follow what uh, what uh, the, the the board is uh, uh, trying to to achieve. So it's not everything negative. Please don't get me wrong. <laughs> Absolutely, there are some uh, interesting uh, uh, news uh, in this uh, um, outcome from uh, from this uh, survey. But yeah, it's uh, probably something that we need to digest. Uh, uh, together with a uh, uh, little bit of time. Okay, thank you, Marina. So, who is next to have some comment to some? To so there was an update from Guillaume um, on the chat, I think. Um, just let me have a look. Uh, 
I just see that Italo went for a coffee, <laughs> but that's not a very important thing. Okay, it was on the uh, telecom matrix. Let, let me read it out. I have it straight on, on the screen. So okay. um, Gillem is writing, it's perhaps the board uh, and MC response to my question, but for what it's worth, my question wasn't about a criticism of lack of transparency, but rather how to grow democratic participation, the vote percentage, number of candidates, the membership base, uh, but he appreciates debates anyway. <laughs> so he asked, how can we grow the uh, participation in our democratic processes? So we were afraid of being so, criticized at board. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. You always hear what, what you what you want to hear. Um, I think it's been pretty much since um, the, the 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 first board election. I think overall, the percentage for board at MC is, is going down. And it's perhaps indeed something that um, we should ask ourselves how to improve there. This, um, Marina, do you remember yeah. from the last sorry, board sorry, election? Or something I have like just, sorry, Thorsten, I have just uh, Michael next one and then maybe Marina. Michael? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I, I think we're doing some useful things here. My take is that the square root of the number of people in your membership are actually engaged with your process. So we need to, uh, you know, multiply our membership significantly, not by signing up our friends and family. But, well, that might be a good idea, um, but by getting people to contribute more. So I'm really encouraged to see Hussein arriving as a dev mentor and growing our community. Um, it's, it's, you know, and, and the more we can do to grow our community. I think the more engaged people we would have. So I, I think that I think there's a short, short start to do that. And I think it's normal that people are disengaged, generally. Yeah. Short of doing something crazily uh, controversial. OK, thank you, Michael. Next will be Marina again. Thanks for raising your hand. Yeah, so. <laughs> It's not the first time we are having uh, this discussion, Michael. And uh, let me just be clear. Uh, with uh, growing uh, our members, I never meant just to go in front of super, a supermarket and uh, uh, ask uh, people to join TDF. <laughs> Absolutely not. The point is that uh, we need to have a, uh, a board of trustees that uh, is aware of what is uh, TDF and what... Uh, uh, we are doing uh, with uh, with the foundation. So something uh, that probably we could try to uh, think about uh, is to uh, prepare those members, those uh, uh, members of the board of trustee, uh, to grow over the time uh, in a way that then maybe they can uh, also be ready for running uh, for for the MC for the for the board without. Uh, uh, having uh, this uh, and getting a train in the face effect uh, uh, when uh, you discover what is behind uh, sitting uh, uh, on a chair that is uh, in the board or in the MC because there's really uh, a lot that is happening uh, behind the scenes for uh, driving the foundation and I'm not talking about lack of transparency just a lot of work that uh, is done uh, silently and uh, that should be um, advertised uh, a bit more for preparing uh, the, the people that then uh, could uh, uh, replace us. I mean, I don't want to, to, to be in the MC forever. Sooner or later, I would like just to be a normal contributor. But yeah, it's important to prepare uh, the, the others uh, to, to, to be ready. So, yeah, thank you, Marina. Then I get a question from Cisco. I read on the chat. So let me get to this one. Let's see here, let's just go here. Oh, where did I find it? Yeah, that was the question from Cisco. From your experience in the board, what would be your advice We're to breaking up a bit, it seems. join to the board for the first time? Time and passion. 
That, that's a very quick and short answer. Thank you. <laughs> so next one will be um, Hamburg again, as I see. And then there should be Emiliano and Paolo, if possible. Thank you. Hamburg, Thorsten? I think they are experiencing some issues with the connection at the moment. Okay, then it's up to you, Emiliano. The next one. So thank you very much. If Hamburg comes online, please raise your hand. I'll try to pass again the, the words. So I what I would like just to add is that uh, Michael is right. Probably uh, a good um, pressure to uh, have new people and uh, new contributions to the to the governance of TDF is going through um, increasing uh, the membership and uh, increasing people that wants to be member. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I liked very much the, uh, the answer that Marina did because uh, to be honest, I was for the first time in the board this term and uh, I felt like uh, invested in by, by train or something like that at, at some moment uh, in time. So uh, there is really a lot of work behind that. And I think every one of our members should be prepared and know that uh, usually what the board uh, means and thoughts uh, by a whole is not always what the single things and also is not what the whole community things so that's another point to, to to underline and to share so there's should be maybe a little more attention on onboarding uh people in inside tdf and its governance so uh, i don't see the the situation be in being better in hamburg so i think i'll get back to stefan thank you yeah, thanks, Emiliano, for your statement. Um, I have now next to be Paolo and then Michael. Hello. Um, please have a look on the clock. Um, we can yeah. maybe I'll slightly be... around, but not not. We have not a lot of time more. I'll Thank be you. quite quick because then uh, practically Emiliano said what, what I wanted to say. You know, as a first time member uh, of the board, uh, there's been a lot of work to to be done for for myself to actually understand what was going on, how to take the decision and also get all the background information that are needed uh, to take those decisions. So one of the things that actually I had to do is practically to reread all the mini minutes, all the documents available to understand, okay, can I make this decision knowing exactly what, uh, you know, uh, I'm talking about? So that is a pretty hard work. Uh, so probably there should be a much better documentation uh, regarding previous decision or background information so that the new members will be able to actually get up to speed a bit, uh, you know, faster. And on top of it, you know, if you are passionate about something, well, don't be shy, scream, argue. Uh, you want to just, you know, keep your ideals and your idea of what TDF should be and liberal office should be at the top level. So compromising is okay, but push as much as you can. That's my advice. Thank you, but thank you very much, Paolo. And now it's Michael, please. Just to uh, sort of partly agree with that and partly turn it on its head, I think we live in an era where the politics is heavily polarized and people love to demonize their opponents and not listen to them and come up with you know two-dimensional caricatures and beat them in public. And I think uh, we all suffer from this. And actually, one of the key skills as a board member is working with other people and trying to be moderate and adopt the middle path and to compromise. Uh, so, you know, practice saying something really moderate, you know, pick one of these culture wars and then say, well, those guys have something to say, but, you know, there is also something to say on the other side, you know, and then, then maybe, you know, form a view in the middle. That, that would be my, my tip for things that are needed in the board. Thank you, Michael. And then we have, um, I think, um, Hamburg, Thorsten. Okay. Let me let me try if you can if you can hear me now. 
Yeah, it's great. Working. Great. Sorry for that. Um, um, right. So um, I, I think I broadly agree with um, with almost everybody before because we were all touching just different aspects of, of that story, and 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 it's. Um, I mean, there, there's a chance we're talking cross purpose. I, I don't think so. I think we're just addressing the the problem from different angles. What I was saying earlier, and I'd like to repeat that, is that before we invest heavily into having millions of uh, additional members, perhaps one of the first things we as TDF and especially we as a board um, perhaps should do is ask ourselves if pretty much the only right that the member has is to vote for a membership committee and to vote for the board of the directors. And then like less than two thirds of, of the group of people who actually applied for membership then actually participate in the vote, what, what is the problem? Uh, and, and that's probably the first thing that I would, I would try to figure out. And I don't know if the, um, if, if the survey has any, has any input there, whether people are just frustrated um, by politics and, and therefore don't, don't vote and otherwise use the membership because they want to associate themselves with TDF a bit more strongly or, or what is behind that. Okay, thank you very much, Thorsten, for this statement. And thank you to you all for this uh, debate. It was very interesting, this exchange of um, statements, opinions, and debating about this.